headlines. Tinubu to attend joint Arab Islamic summit in Saudi Arabia. Kogi Governor Ododo Oda sets for Stardom Global Awards. No November salary, bonus for workers without KWSRRA number, Quora government. Stama set for Trump and Ukraine talks with Macron. And in sports, Super Falcons milk feeder Abi Odun shines in NCAA Women's League. This is Malakite TV Global News, reaching you live from the city of Lokoja, the confluent state of Nigeria. I am Gift Daniel. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu will depart Abuja on Sunday for Rihad, Saudi Arabia, to attend the Joint Arab Islamic Summit, which will focus on the current situation in the Middle East. The summit will commence on Monday, November 11th, 2024. It is being held at the invitation of King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and follow last year's summit in the same Saudi city. According to the President's Special Advisor on Information and Strategy, Bayo Onanuga, stated that during the summit, President Tinubu is expected to address the ongoing Israel-Palestinian conflict, emphasizing Nigeria's strong call for an immediate ceasefire and the urgent need for a peaceful re resolution. Nigeria will also advocate for renewed efforts to revive the two-state solution as a pathway to lasting peace in the region. Key officials, including the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Yusuf Tuga, we accompany the President, other members of the Etorage at the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, Minister of Information and National Orientation, Al Haji Mohammed Idris, and Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, Ambassador Mohammed Mohammed. After the conclusion of the summit, President Tunubu will return to Abuja. The 17th Stardom Global Awards is set to honor outstanding Nigerians who have made significant contributions to the country's development. The prestigious event organized by Stardom Global Television recognizes individuals who have demonstrated exceptional leadership and governance in their respective fields. This year's recipients include Governor Yusman Ododo of Kogi, he will receive the Governor of the Year Civil Service Development Award and Governor Doye Diri of Bayelsa, who will be honored as Governor of the Year Infrastructure and other notable awardees. The entertainment industry will also be represented with music sensation Davido taking home the Artist of the Year Award. Royal Father of the Year will be awarded to Odiba of Ebaland, Adeshin Oraji Ashadi. The award ceremony is scheduled to take place on December 5th, 2024 at 4 p.m. at Nikon Luxury Hotel, Abuja. Our deeds will also be inducted to the Stardom Hall of Fame in recognition of their outstanding contributions to society. The invaluable contributions and remarkable impact of the Rector of Kogi State Polytechnic, Lokoja, Professor Salisu Oboyusman, have been recognized by the Alumni Association of the Institution as it honors him with Distinguished Public Service Award. Professor Yusman was honored with the award during the Association Inaugural Annual General Meeting and award dinner on 8 November 2024 at the Air Drive Hotels and Suites in Elokoja. In a press statement released to journalists by the Director of Public Relations and Protocol, Kogi State Polytechnic Lokoja, Uredo Omale, other recipients of the awards at the occasion where the Chairman of Progressive Congress APC, Kogi State Chapter Abdullahi Bello, Speaker Kogi State House of Assembly Aliu Yusman Yusuf, the Accountant General of Kogi State Ajia Habibat Oiza Tijani Olumoko. According to the National President of the Association, Alexander Ocholi, the prestigious awards were in recognition for the outstanding contributions to public service and humanity by the recipients. Ocholi highlighted the association's remarkable achievements under the leadership, just as he praised his executive members and board of trustees for their unwavering commitment to the association's growth. He also acknowledged the polytechnic management under Professor Yusman, whose leadership laid a solid foundation for the Alumni Association. 
the president of the Polytechnic Alumni Association emphasized the need for concerted efforts to boost membership and support the institution's growth. Professor Salisu Oboyusman, the rector of the Polytechnic, expressed gratitude to the Alumni Association for their collaboration and support. He reaffirmed the management's commitment to making the alumni body more vibrant and admirable. Kora State Government has said public sector workers without valid KWSRRA number will not receive salary or bonuses from November 2024, recalling that this exercise started many months ago. Kora State Residence Registration Agency, KWSRRA, is empowered by law to have relevant data of everyone resident in the state and allocate unique identities to each person for effective planning resource management, service delivery, and public safety, among others. The press secretary, Ministry of Finance, Babatunde Toin Abdurashid, who disclosed it via its official Facebook page, stated that, in line with the administration's commitment to ac accountability and transparency in resource administration, a directive had since been issued mandating all state employees, including those across the 16 local government areas to complete their registration KWSRRA. According to a statement by the Commissioner for Finance, Dr. Hawa Nuru, effective November 2024, workers who have not registered will not receive salary payments or bonuses. The KWSRRA registration is a vital step toward establishing a comprehensive and accurate database that enables them to serve Quara State residents more effectively. Ensuring that every state worker is registered strengthens our payroll system, enhances service delivery, and builds trust in our processes. The statement quoted Dr. Nuru as saying that the initiative will play a key role in resource management and planning within the state. The integrity of our data impacts all our financial and administrative systems. A complete database helps us make informed decisions, allocate resources efficiently, and ensure that every eligible worker is compensated fairly and accurately. All state employees who have not yet registered are urged to promptly visit the nearest KWSRRA registration center to complete their enrollment. By following this directive, Quora State is working to establish a more efficient and equitable system for its workforce and residents alike. We go on a short break, we will be right back. Malachi TV Online is here for your timely and reliable news that reaches you fast with the breaking news. Choose MLC TV. Get human interest stories right here on MLC TV with entertainment, sports, business, culture, tourism, and fashion news stories all featured on MLC TV. Not forgetting political and current affairs news, state and federal government and people's matters will be discussed regularly on MLC TV. MLC TV, your one-stop online destination for unbiased, accurate news, entrepreneur ideas, and youth matters to the rest of the world. MLC TV. Reaching everywhere, informing everyone. Welcome back. Next, on our foreign news, Prime Minister Sarkar Stammer is expected to discuss European security and the likely impact of a second Trump presidency as he holds talks with French President Emmanuel Macron in Paris. Macron and Sarkar marched a misty's day at the tomb of the unknown soldier under the Arc de Trophée on Monday and planned to talk about Russia's invasion and the humanitarian situation in Gaza at a later meeting. Downing Street said their meeting comes as questions are being asked about U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's support for Ukraine after he said he could end the war with Russia in one day. Trade will also be on the agenda, with Trump saying he will impose a blanket 20% tariff on imports into the U.S. Some economists have warned about the global impact of such tariffs, 
with on prediction of a potential 22 billion euro hit to UK exports. Macron personally invited the Prime Minister, making Sir Kerr the first British leader at the Champs Elysees ceremony since Churchill in 1944. Sakira also met French Prime Minister Michael Barnier before observing a minute silence to mark the 106th anniversary in Amistice Day. Next is sports updates. Deborah Abiodun has become a household name in the NCAA Division Women's Soccer Tournament with the University of Pittsburgh. The 21-year-old in her second year at the institution was named to the second team AUACC on Wednesday gaining recognition as a top-ranked player for the second consecutive season and helping her university close out the regular season with a 9-6-3 overall record and a 3 to 5 to 2 mark in conference play. Abiodun came on strong after missing six games due to injury before the start of ACC play. She scored her first goal of the season in a win over Clemson on October 3, 2024 and followed up with a brace in the Panthers 3 to 0 victory over Syracuse 10 days later. has arrested a man identified as Olubumi Johnson for allegedly setting his wife Kike Lomo on fire in the apartment on Fabui Street, Ilobo, in Ota, area of Ogun State. An eyewitness on Saturday evening that the incident took place around 8.30 p.m. on Friday following a domestic dispute. While the exact circumstances leading to the confrontation remain unclear at the time of this report. The spokesperson for the state's police command, Omolola Oduntola, said that Johnson has been detained in the connection with the crime. According to reports, police officers from the Ilobo division quickly took action, resulting in the arrest of the 55-year-old suspect. The husband doused his wife's body with petrol and set her on fire with a match. Witnesses to the incident immediately rushed her to the hospital. Upon receiving the reports, our detectives quickly took action and arrested the husband, who has since been detained. For more information or contributions and advert placements, please call the numbers displayed on your screen. Join us daily to watch our news and other exciting programs that will brighten your day. You can also subscribe to all our social media handles to watch our previous and subsequent programs. We are Malakite TV, reaching everywhere, informing everyone. Please be your brothers and sisters keeper to build a happier and better society together. I am Gift Daniel. Thanks for watching.